Hi, boys and girls. I'm so excited to share a story with you today. Um, our story comes from the Old Testament of the Bible, the book of Genesis, um, which is, um, you look in your Bible on the table of contents, you'll see that it's the very first chapter, first book that's in the um, Old Testament of our Bible, which of course are stories that were um, told to us um, about things that happened before Jesus was born. So um, this story um, talks a little bit about how God is always with us and how God has a plan. And sometimes we don't, under, don't understand what's going on and we think that things seem a little unfair, but we have to be patient and realize that in time um, that God has a plan for all of us. So let's look at a picture that I have right here first. Um, these are some ways um, that we can look to see if God, um, see God at work. This first picture right here shows um, a mom and maybe a young daughter, and they are carrying some laundry. Um, now, this could be dirty laundry that they're getting ready to wash, or it could be laundry that was just washed and came out of the dryer and they're getting ready to fold it. I'm not really sure. But either way, it's something that they're doing together. Um, is folding laundry and doing laundry fun to do? Not particularly but it's one of the things that's important so that we'll all have clean clothes, especially as we're getting ready to go back to school. Um, and we wanna make sure um, that we're helping each other and, and by doing, taking care of each other, we are doing God's work. There's another picture here of a young girl who is watering a garden. Um, it looks like she's watering a flower garden, but there might be some vegetables in there. Um, you know, when you have a vegetable garden, you need the flowers so that you will attract the pollinators, the bees and the butterflies to spread the pollen around. So um, keeping them watered and healthy is really an important part of gardening. Um, and um, that is certainly doing God's work because we are feeding God's people. Um, and that is a very important thing to do. Um, and then the third picture here shows a picture of a family who are preparing dinner together. Um, some people like to cook, some people don't. Cooking can be a great way to be creative. Um, but if we do it together, it's always more fun than one person having to do it alone. So um, this family is helping each other out and clearly they're having a great time. I see them laughing there as they're preparing their meal. Um, and the important thing about preparing a good healthy meal is that we are um, keeping our bodies healthy so that we can serve God. Um, so that's a really um, most important thing to remember. All right, I want to share with you um, our story today, and we have a few pictures to go along with it. So let me read it to you, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. This first picture has a picture of Joseph and all of his brothers. And this, um, as I said, comes from the book of Genesis. Um, it comes from um, chapter 15, I'm sorry, chapter 45, and um, it goes from verses 1 through 15. So if you have your Bible, if you would turn to the 45th chapter of Genesis and look at the very first verse, you'll start to read this story. Um, Joseph and his family lived together in the land of Canaan. Sadly, Joseph and his brothers did not get along very well. Um, in fact, Joseph's brothers got so angry that they tied him up and they sold him off as a slave. Um, Joseph was bought by someone and taken far, far away in, uh, to the land of Egypt. So when Joseph got to Egypt, he was not treated fairly. Remember I said earlier that sometimes we seem like we don't understand why things are happening. Um, and, that, and this is kind of how Joseph felt. He wasn't treated very fairly and he didn't understand. Um, he was actually sent to prison for something that he did not do. This is a picture here of Joseph in prison. And then several years went by and this is the Pharaoh here. And um, the Pharaoh, who was the ruler of Egypt, had some bad dreams that he just couldn't understand and he was really curious about what they meant. So one of the Pharaoh's servants um, told the Pharaoh that Joseph could help him to understand his dreams. So the Pharaoh sent for Joseph. Um, he decided that that would be um, a big help to him to have someone to help understand what those dreams meant. So when Joseph heard what dreams the Pharaoh was having, he knew that um, the dreams were a message from God. And God was telling the Pharaoh that there were gonna be seven really good years um, where growing food was gonna go really, really well. But then there were gonna be seven years where there was gonna be a drought. The drought is when there is no rain. And without rain, without water, nothing can grow. 
So here um, is Joseph explaining all of that to the Pharaoh, and here is what it's going to look like when the time comes and there is no rain. You've got that hot sun and nothing, everything's dying because there's no water to nourish it. So Joseph told the Pharaoh that what the solution was that they needed to store food during the years where um, where, where the growing was going to be really good so that when the years came where the when the drought was there that they they would have food that they had stored and they would be able to use it to eat um, during the lean years so um, the Pharaoh decided that Joseph would be the right person to put in charge of the whole country to make sure that the food was um, safely put away and saved for when they needed it um, so that was Joseph's job to make sure that there would be enough food stored for people to use later. So um, Joseph went to work. Um, now remember that Joseph's life had not always been easy. In fact, um, at times it, it seemed really unfair, like when he got thrown into prison. But no matter what happened to him, he always knew that God was with him. When Joseph's brothers sold him as a slave, God was with him. When Joseph was unfairly thrown into prison, God was with him. When Joseph was rescued from prison, God was working. When Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of the country, God was working. When the farms in Egypt produced plenty of food, God warned Joseph, save this for later, save some of, save some of it for later. Yes, said Joseph, God has been at work in my life. When the time came that it didn't rain for a very long time and the earth was dry and dusty and the farmers could not grow food, Joseph opened the storehouses and brought out all the food that had been saved. Well, and, and again remembered that God had been with him. Well, back in Cana where Joseph's family was, the same thing was happening and there was no food. They heard that there was plenty of food in Egypt, so they traveled there to try to buy some. When they arrived at the Pharaoh's palace, Joseph's brothers bowed down to the man who was selling the food. It was Joseph but they didn't even recognize him. But Joseph recognized them. This is what he said. My brothers, stand up, said Joseph. It's me, Joseph. The brothers were terrified. They were trembling in their sandals. They were so scared. Surely Joseph is going to punish us. They said to each other, we sold him as a slave. How can he forgive us? We are doomed. But Joseph, he saw things a little bit differently. He knew that God had been at work, even in the hard times. Don't be afraid, Joseph said. God needed me to be in Egypt. God used me to make sure that the people here don't starve. Then Joseph hugged his brothers and he forgave them. Joseph told them to go back home and to bring his father and all of their families to live in Egypt with him. So that's what they did. When they arrived in Egypt, Joseph rode out to meet his family. He was so glad to see everyone. It was the best day ever. So even though it seemed, things seemed really unfair and hard for so long, Joseph always knew that God was with him and he was right. And in the end, he was able to save his family because God was with him and guided him through that. So sometimes even when we don't understand things, if we do what we, we know is right and what God wants us to do, we might later understand. Sometimes we never understand, but we have to always remember that God is with us. Um, there are some um, pictures here that I want to share with you. Um, I want us to pray and then um, I want to show you my garden and I want to show you something that I'd like for you to do at home. Um, dear God, we thank you for sharing this story with us. We pray that you will always open our minds and hearts to hear your word and to understand and know that you are always at work in our lives, even when it doesn't seem fair and even when it's really hard to understand. Thank you for that. Thank you for always being with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I have a couple of pictures here. Um, and you may have gotten these um, in, in, in um, some of the information that was sent over to you by Pastor Lissa. Um, but if you'll take a paper plate, this is supposed to look like the sunshine, so I chose a yellow plate. If you have an orange one, it'll work. If you have a white one that you want to color, you can do that. Um, 
and you can take a marker. I chose a um, blue marker to kind of look like the sky and I'm writing on my um, plate, God is at work. And if you don't know how to spell some of those words, I bet you have an older brother or sister that will be happy to help you. So this says, God is at work. And on the other side, I'm going to put a picture. This is a picture of someone planting some seeds to grow. And it says, God's, God plans for seeds to grow. When you see a plant growing, it is a sign that God is at work in the world. What what plants have you seen growing this week? So I want you to um, think about something that you've seen somewhere that you've seen God at work this week. And if you have this sheet, you can certainly use this, or you can just get a little piece of paper and draw something that you've seen God doing this week and glue it on your sunshine. And then um, get some strips of paper and glue those all around your plate. And um, of course, the goal is to make this look like the sunshine. Um, and then hang it. And that way you'll always be reminded of some things that God is doing um, at work in, in your life or in others' lives. So let's think about that for a minute. Um, this week, for me, um, I have been getting ready to go back to school. Um, and I was at school this morning and um, we have a new teacher coming into the fours and I had an opportunity to talk with her and um, we made some plans to help her to get her classroom situated. And um, while I'm sad that one of our teachers is retiring, I'm really happy to have a new teacher coming on board and an opportunity to help her to get ready and get set up. So um, in the midst of something that seemed a little bit sad, um, there's great joy in knowing that somebody new is coming and that God has given me an opportunity to help them. So think about that for a minute and talk to your family about some things that have been really wonderful in your life this week. Um, we talked earlier about growing all that food. So um, my garden is a good example of things that are growing well and things that are not growing well. So I'm going to take this camera off the pedestal and show you some of the things in our garden. So right down here, you can see this watermelon. Well, this watermelon is getting pretty big. This is my hand beside it, so it's bigger than my hand. Um, this is the only watermelon out of all of these vines that has made it. We've had others come, but they're not growing. There's lots of blooms, lots of um, flowers on this vine. I'm trying to find one to show you. Um, there's a lot right over here. Um, we'll see if any of those produce fruit. Um, and then if you look back here, you can see sunflowers that are doing well. You got these little bugs that are kind of having, given us a little trouble. You can see huge sunflowers that have grown and they um, have died and now they're starting to drop their seeds. You can see lots of tomatoes. Here's a tomato right here that has ripened um, and lots of green tomatoes that are coming. You can see my flowers that are serving as pollinators. Um, if we come down here to my herb garden, you can see lots of basil that's growing. You can see some rosemary that's growing. You can see some purple basil, lots of mint. It's kind of taken over the garden. And my lavender is blooming, so it's not doing real great. Um, and then there's some parsley. But look at this cabbage. Oh my goodness, we've had some bug that has been going crazy eating our cabbage. So I don't think we're going to have very much cabbage. Um, so we just never know how things are going to do. But thank goodness that God um, used Joseph to keep that um, food healthy and um, stored and ready for um, the people when they needed it a few years later. So thank you for joining us today. Um, remember to look, um, hang your sunshines around and to think about the ways that God's working in your life. Share those with your family. Make that a dinner conversation one night every, um, every week because it's important to always remember the ways that God is helping us. I hope you guys have an awesome week. It's been fun being able to spend a little time with you today. Let's pray one more time before we end our time together. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for time to learn, for time to grow, and for time to think about ways that we can see you at work in our lives. 
we pray that you will always be with us and that we will always remember that you are with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys have an awesome week. I love you. Bye-bye.